Hello, today is Monday, April 8th. My name is Elsa, and also with me are Andrew, Austin, Jackson, Janelle, Dylan. We're, we're your news team for KWW. First, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here are the announcements. If you participate in Study Buddies, a reminder that you will meet in the Media Center after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There's a PTA meeting this Tuesday evening. It's from 6.30 to 7.30 in the Media Center. All Westwood families are invited. That's all for the announcements. Now it's time for the lunch menu. Here's the lunch menu this week. On Monday, we'll have French toast sticks with a cheese om omelet with hash brown patties. On Tuesday, it will be chicken tenders with steamed carrots and baked beans and Cheeto puffs. For Wednesday, it will, will be beef sambusa or Bosco strips with spaghetti sauce and, and a dark green salad. On Thursday, look for a chicken alfredo with pasta and steamed broccoli. And finally, Friday, it's cheese pizza or fish sandwich with steamed green beans. I'm looking forward to Thursday's lunch because because I like chicken alfredo. I'm I'm looking forward to Thursday's because chicken alfredo good. I'm looking forward to Wednesday or Friday. If I didn't have home lunch, I would choose the basket. Now it's time for the weather. We're back to some springtime weather. Le there looks to be a chance of some rain this week, and high temperatures should be in the 50s, if not close to 60 degrees. Let's take a look at, at that solar eclipse forecast. Skies look to be mostly cloudy, and temperatures in the upper 50s. Hopefully those clouds will clear out enough for the event. We won't see a total solar eclipse here, but it will look, still look, be really neat. Remember to look, never look directly at the sun. A solar eclipse is a rare and exciting event. During a solar eclipse, the moon passes between the sun and the earth, causing the sun's light to be blocked. When the sun's light is blocked, the sky on earth will darken, and sometimes stars and planets can be seen in the middle of the day. Although the sun is larger than the moon, the moon is closer to earth, which makes the two look to be similar in size when viewed from earth. On April 8th, 2024, the shadow of the moon will cross Mexico, the United States, and Canada. This is sure to be a record-setting astronomical event. Why do solar eclipses happen? When we look up from Earth, the moon looks about the same size as the sun. During a solar eclipse, the moon comes between the Earth and the Sun and blocks out the light of the Sun. This can last for as long as 7 minutes or as little as 31 seconds. Can you look at a solar eclipse? Many people look forward to seeing a solar eclipse. However, it is dangerous to look directly at the Sun and could cause blindness. To see an eclipse, People can wear special glasses. 
but not sunglasses. Another option is to make a pinhole projector using two pieces of paper and a thumbtack. Once made, you hold the paper above the second piece and move it so the sun's light can shine through the pinhole. The eclipse will be projected onto the second piece of paper. Hi, my name is Dawn from KDWW, and here with me is... Mr. Roberts. And Janelle. And today we're going to be asking him... If there's anything he'd like to announce. Is there anything going on that you like to say, Mr. Roberts? Well, thank you. There are always exciting things going on at Westwood. Next week, we have a couple things. We have our Veep Week food drive, and uh, we're looking for... Everyone to bring in food if they can, so that we can support families that need a little extra food. We do that every year, and you'll see the uh, food drop-off bin right outside of the gym. So looking forward to that again. There's some special things that are going on with that. And then also next week, um, at the end of the week, we have our PTA bingo night. A great time in the gym. So some extra special things to look forward to coming soon. And that's all. For Kitty WW, bye. Many families in our community have no food on their shelves at home. They have little to no money to buy food. They go to Veep for everything they need to help provide for their families. Veep, or Volunteers Enlisted to Assist People, is the largest food pantry in Minnesota. They provide everything from food, laundry soap, diapers for babies, and even shampoo and toothpaste. But the shelves at Veep are starting to empty too. That's where you can help. Westwood Elementary, the PTA, and Planet Fitness are teaming up for the 14th annual district-wide Veep Food Drive, April 15th to the 19th. Every year for one week in April, all the Bloomington schools come together to bring in as much food as possible. This year's goal is 55,000 pounds. Here's how it works. Each day during Veep Week, we'll ask you to donate things like different kinds of food, cleaning supplies, and household items. Along with donating for Veep, we're going to have some fun and dress up a different way every day. While we collect items at Westwood, Planet Fitness will be collecting things too. We'll add up the two collections to get our total. Our goal is to get so many different things for Veep so that their shelves stay full all summer. Right before Veep Week begins, we'll tell you what to bring and what to wear, so stay tuned. It's time for a recap on our spring phenology that we've covered so far. As of March 4th, the red-winged blackbirds are back and the ground is free of frost. A couple of Western chorus frogs are starting to call as of April 5th, and Mama Barred Owl had all three of her eggs hatch. The first one to hatch was on March 31st. When you hear April, what comes to mind? Is it umbrellas for rain? Plants starting to grow? Warmer temperatures? Well, you might be surprised to learn that snow is not uncommon during the month. This week on Signs of Spring, we're talking about the final snowfall for the winter season. In the Twin Cities, we can see snowflakes into the month of May. But with warmer temperatures, a higher sun angle, and warmer ground, it is difficult for the snow that falls to actually stick on the ground. But it can, and it does happen. The National Weather Service considers measurable snow to be at least one-tenth of an inch which on a ruler is here. It's pretty small. It's about the thickness of two pennies stacked together. In the past 10 years, the median one-tenth of an inch of snowfall has been April 14th. Believe it or not, we usually average three and a half inches of snow during April. Also consider this. The latest measurable snowfall on record for the Twin Cities is May 24th, all the way back in 1925. We've seen one inch of snow as late as May 20th, that was in 1892, 
and four inches of snow as late as April 29th, back in 1984. So those are really old records, which tell us that accumulating snowfalls in late April and May are hard to get, but snow can still happen. So when do you think the last snowflakes of the year will fly? How about the last inch of snowfall? Is it still coming or has it already happened? Stay tuned and we'll see you next time on Signs of Spring. Next up, we have the answer to our trivia question from last week. The question was, how many chairs are in the media center? Here's the answer. Um, hi, I'm Janelle. And here with me is... Presley. And Ivana. And they will be answering the trivia question from last week. There is... 69 chairs in the library. And that's all for KBWW. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Finally, today it's our time for a laugh segment. Remember, the trivia question is to make you think. It's not about searching Google for the answer. It's about talking with your classmates and school staff to figure it out. So let's take a look. Hello, I am Andrew, and here with me is Jackson, and we are with KDWW. Today, I am interviewing Mackenzie. She is going to be telling us the trivia question for the week, which is How many more days are there left of school? That's all for this edition of KDWW. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great week. And also, remember to do the